Welcome back to another video. In the last lecture, you might have noticed we did not add a key prop. So, if I right click and inspect, and if I go to console, you can see a warning. You can see a warning each child in the list should have a unique key props. So, in this video, I'm going to show you a library that I sometimes use if I need unique keys. The library is UUID. It allows us to create this unique IDs very easily. So, what we need to do is install it npm install UUID. So let's install it. Let's go to the terminal and let's stop the terminal by pressing Ctrl C. And here we need to write npm install UUID and press enter. So now it has been installed. So let's start the server npm start. So now we need to import it into any of the files that we want to use in it so let's go to the code and we want this unique ID to be used in this file so let's import import UUID from UUID slash version 4 so here we have the two existing students and if I want to give them an ID it looks like this so I'll do a comma and ID is set to UUID it's a function so we need to do same thing over here so let's copy this and let's paste it let's save this and if we go to the browser and if we check the react dev tool so in the application component and if I go to student list and in the state if you see that they each have this long unique ID string same thing goes here so now we need to make sure that we are using that key so let's go to the code so here we are displaying the student name and roll number in that li we need to set key equals to student dot id let's save this and now let's go to the browser so if you can see the console the warning has gone away and if we go to the dev tools and we click on the object and if we look at them we have bunch of keys for just two so right now we are not actually doing anything with the key or with an id when you add a new student so let's change that so let's go to the code and let's make a new variable called new added student so i'll make a variable let new added student because what we need to do is to take the existing student that's coming in which includes the name and the roll number from the form and we just want to add an id field so we need to take all the existing properties and make a new object so i'll make an object and and take the existing students so for that we need to write dot 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 new student and then add an id so we'll add the id and set that id to uuid just like that and then set state to be new added student instead of using direct new student that was passed in so let's save this and let's check it out in the browser so let's add a new student so i'll write down rule number three and click on add student and if we see the dev tools and if you can see the id has been added so anytime we add new student it's getting that unique id so this is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video